Circus has created a safe space for me in different ways at different points of my life. I often didn't really feel that I belonged in many normal social circles. And within Circus, you have people from all walks of life and a group and a belonging and a purpose. My name is Sadiq Ali and I'm a circus artist. Very early on in my life, I, I started to lead a double life. Uh, I think many queer kids do. It can be quite tough growing up in a Western society with teachings that maybe don't fit with what your peers are having. On Fridays, I would go to mosque and we would do a Friday prayer and I would get pocket money for going to the mosque and then afterwards I would go and spend that on cider with my goth friends and hang out. To make myself feel safe and comfortable, what that meant was playing different characters. Uh, it's something that I explore in a lot of the work that I do now. The Chosen Haram is a queer circus theatre show that explores the story of a gay Muslim and his relationship with a Westerner, and we tell that story through Chinese pole. The big thing happening for me and my work this year is Edinburgh Fringe. For the first time, I am in a position where I'm bringing my own work to my own city, and that's exciting. And it's not just that I'm bringing my own work to my own city, I'm bringing a piece of work that is strong, it's powerful, and I am extremely proud of. So I'm currently in a rehearsal process where I am teaching the secondary role to this other artist, but because I want the role and the story to be relevant and important to them, um, it's about finding their journey through it. It's not about teaching them the exact choreography that exists before, it's about teaching them the story, the character, the intention, and helping them find their own way through the story. I moved to London kind of on a whim. It was massive and it was great. And there was so many different things I hadn't really quite seen before. That was also quite complicated because what it meant was at the same time as getting circus training, I'd also found a massive queer scene. And so I had these two things I really wanted to do, and I tried to do them both to varying success. In my first year of circus school, I was diagnosed with HIV. And I felt at the time like I deserved that, and that it was an accumulation of the life I had started to live and that it was a result of that. I went on a bit of a downward spiral. I used it as an excuse to stop caring about myself, to stop trying and to accept, almost accept the shame. I had to take time out of London then and I had to come back home. I had to refine myself and I had to, to find my roots and ground myself again. And as I did, I realized a few things. I realized that through circus, I was doing something extremely physical. My body was getting stronger and I was achieving more and more physical results. And that that for me completely countered the perception that I had of being an HIV positive body. It meant that I had something I could hold on to and literally climb and prove to myself and the outside world that HIV doesn't stop you doing anything. I now, because of my HIV, I look after my health more. I care about my sexual health. I care about the health of my partners. I have something that I, I am not ashamed of. And circus is one of the things that has really helped me to not be ashamed of that in any way. We're in the meadows and I spent a lot of time here as my high school was James Gillespie's, which is just up the road. And I used to hang out a lot at Coburn Street on the other side of town. So I spent a lot of time in the middle here. I think I realized I was queer quite early. I remember having a girlfriend when I was in second year of high school. So I'd be about 13 and we used to walk down the top end, which was the links, I think, down the meadows, holding hands kissing and just putting a show on really. And I never wanted to do anything more than kiss her. Wonder why. It wasn't long until afterwards when 
I couldn't really kind of play that game anymore and I had my first kind of kiss and interaction with a guy and from about the age of 14 I started being open with my friends and I kind of just knew that was gay and I was okay with that in certain circles. Being queer and then finding circus. It's a social space where there's people from all walks of life and I always kind of felt like a social outcast in a way. I was always on the kind of fringe of different circles and different spaces and and then I found within circus a space that I could be in amongst other fringe people. Of course making autobiographical work like The Chosen Haram is quite cathartic. There's a lot of process that went into first exploring the issues that are in it to then processing them to then turning them into art and then being comfortable and safe performing really personal content and presenting something that while true to me it's i feel protected and i feel safe in exploring it i have enough distance The Fringe was always around me, but I didn't really get to see much shows because, well, we couldn't afford it at the time. I just remember the energy of The Fringe. I remember it being this moment where people from all over the world came to my city and, and for a moment I realised that there was something bigger, there was something more, there was a world out there that I could and, well, would be a part of. Are you seeing anything in The Fringe this year? We, we don't know yet. Have a look. Think about it. Summer Hall at nine o'clock. We've already got some really great reviews and love if you check it out. Tonight is the very first performance of our show at The Fringe. We've got a good size of audience coming, I'm watching the numbers and I keep trying to remind myself that I'm excited, not nervous. I'm excited, not nervous. But I feel really good, I feel really confident. I feel like we've got a great show and I'm just ready to share it. We've been working up to this point for months and we're here and it's about to happen. I think it was amazing, really. Uh, very powerful, very creative, uh, very intense. It reminds me the story of my life, so... And then it's basically whole spectrum of emotions and memories. That went all right. <laughs> that went all right. Um, obviously, we've just done the first show. I'm buzzing, I'm sweating. I probably smell a bit. But it went really well. I'm really happy to, to be here, actually, and let all my energy out with this, uh, with this performance. It's nice, it's super nice. <laughs> if I take a moment and stop and, and look at where I am just now, it can catch me. I feel proud of myself and the things that I've come through. This is a major month in both my career and my development, but also just in showing myself how far I've come. It's really hard to remember to stop and take a moment and see how far you've come and, and feel proud of yourself. <laughs> 